Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the live stream. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, yeah, I'm doing fantastically well as usual. Um, yeah, just putting the finishing touches to uh, to the live stream. So, yeah, just waiting for a couple of people to come on in. Come and uh, join us for this Builders of Egypt, the prologue. Uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a few days. I just haven't quite had the chance, the opportunity to get this done. Um, but now we're here and we can get it done finally, which is great. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, I think we should just crack on, man, don't you? Um, yeah, I might just give it a little bit longer just to try and let some people filter in. Hopefully you guys can come and join me on this journey. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm thoroughly looking forward to this. I uh, hope you guys are as well. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day so far as well. And um, yeah, I think uh, maybe we should just crack on, man. <laughs> I'm excited. I think that's why I want to crack on. So yeah, let's just crack on, man. Let's get it. So yeah, so this is a brand new game. It's the... Um, it's the Builders of Egypt, well what it's actually called is it's actually the Builders of Egypt Prologue. So I think it's quite a short little thing, I think it's. Uh, I think I've read that it's only about an hour or so. So I think I'm looking forward to it anyway. I hope you guys are doing well man. Um, yeah I'm really, uh, I'm intrigued man to see what this, got, this game's got. I think we should just back on, don't you? <laughs> I'm talking, I'm trying to delay it just to let some people filter in, but I just want to play it, so let's go. Campaign, new campaign. What is this? Oh, these are locked. Ah, so yeah, I did read that, obviously, but it is quite new. But obviously, as you can see, they, they are unlocking... I think new things will be unlocked. I don't know if it's unlocked after you do this first one. Actually, hang on a sec, can we just come back a second? I don't know if that's quite loud for you guys or not. That seems quite loud for me. I'm going to turn it down. So. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's just go new campaign. Let's start with this new one. The ruler of Upper Egypt, King Nama, conquered Lower Egypt and united the kingdom of the Nile. Now the country needs capital. King Aha, Nama's successor, sends you to Memphis to supervise the construction of this magnificent city, a political, administrative and religious centre which will become home to the royal family and thanks to its mo monumentally mon monumentality will strengthen its authority. Is that even a word? Difficulty, oh we can't change it. Gather that, bread, bricks, pottery, dwellers, gather 200 dwellers, Jesus. Right, let's start man, let's go. Come on. What's this? The first Egyptian established... Oh, I can't read that. That's too fast. Oh, let's just start. I want to start. I hope there's a little bit of a tutorial, because obviously I've never played this before, so... A glorious capital for Comet. Yeah, the ruler, blah, blah, blah. I think I read all that. Win conditions, you need to do all that. Okay, so yeah, so it's basically a city builder. Obviously, you've got WSAD to move around as usual. Scroll wheel to scroll out. Let's just have a quick scan of the area. Right, we've got a road coming in here. I mean, this looks beautiful, to be fair. I mean, look at the water. That looks really nice, man. Don't know how big our surroundings are. But yeah, it goes a lot that way. I don't know if you have to look. There's a big desert area there. I don't know if you have to look for specific areas or what. I don't know. So it's a pretty big area, to be fair. That's quite nice. This short tutorial is intended for the early access version and will be expanded as the game develops. Here you will learn the basic rules of the game. Click on the right arrow to go further or press spacebar. In ancient Egypt, the idea of currency was unknown. The work was paid for with bread and beer. To simplify this mechanics, treat these resources as, as the cost of placing buildings and exchanging wares. Okay. You can find their icons in the top panel. 
What? In the top panel here? Mission description, finances, diplomacy, technology tree, records. Okay, you can get bread and beer mainly from trading and collecting taxes, but these are not a reliable source of income, so make sure you do not run out of them, because in such a situation you will not be able to further develop your settlement. Okay. The hell? The settlement development should start with designing a grid of streets. Select a, select a road from the building list and place a street where you will be building your settlement. Remember that the first basic resource is water, so it is best to practice to build a settlement along the river. Well, yeah, I did sort of... Okay. Oh, okay, I'll get it. So here... House and roads. Do I just follow this, maybe? Follow that over there. Ah, oh, so it. I was going to say, I want it to disappear because I can't see with the arrows. Click it. Can't see with the trees. The trees out the way. Right, okay. We'll just copy what it says, I guess. Select a house from the buildings list and place it next the uh, place it next the road. Next to the road. Remember that all buildings must be built like this. If you leave the building off the road, it will not work and may collapse over time. Okay. Yeah, so that's the house and building. Shortcut is B. Okay, sweet. Right, so if we go here. Look at my little house! Ha <laughs> Get that bad boy! Now can we... Ah, oh, R to rotate, okay. Well, I want it looking a bit... Fancy. Do this. Hang on a sec, what have I done? I wanted to just move across. I'm, just, I'm guessing we build all the houses like this. Like R to rotate. Let's go like that. Yeah. And then like that and like that. Bang. Beautiful. Press right click to get off that. The building place like this will encourage immigrants to settle in your city if it was... If it, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> the building place like this will encourage immigrants to settle in your city if it has sufficiently high levels of satisfaction, which, as you will notice in the later game, is not easy to achieve. The arrival of the first inhabitants is announced by a message in the bottom right corner. Ah, oh, okay, like there. Incoming dwellers. Dwellers are coming to your city. Oh, here they come! Look! Look! Hello! Hello. Oh, mate, there's loads. What? Remember that you can always demolish a building. Refund depends on the level of difficulty. Note that removing buildings at a later stage can be tricky as you can... Shatter the delicate economic balance. Okay, can we get rid of that a sec? Okay. Right, okay. Let's practice demolition on this road because we don't need it here. Remove this highlighted section. Right, okay, you got the hammer, demolish. Let's just left click on it. That's easy. Get some bread back. It's beautiful. Your dwellers need to be protected against fires. Select a fire station from the building list and put it near your existing building. Okay. Right, let's have a look at these quickly. House and road, food production, sanitary, ware production, I'm guessing it's sort of like warehouses, faith related buildings, administrative buildings, buildings of cultural heritage. Okay. So let's click on that. Fire station. Just click. And then I messed up. Because that's stupid. Click. Note that after clicking on the fire station range icon. Oh, wait, what? 
Note that after clicking on the fire station range, icon in the bottom right corner, a filter will appear. What? That doesn't, does that make sense? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, right click. Note that after clicking on the fire station range icon in the bottom right corner, a filter will appear showing the coverage of the settlement with the range of the given buildings. This building protects other buildings from fire, but remember that the effectiveness of the protection reduces as the distance increases. It is a good idea to build a fire station at relatively small distances from each other for better protection. Better coverage results in fewer fires and reduced in consequences of them. Risk of fires, right, the risk of collapse, the risk of crime, the risk of disease. So the risk of fire, is that red because it's zero? Zero risk? I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. Okay, let's carry on. It's high time to look at the buildings you have constructed. Use right mouse button to select house. The details of the building will be displayed. If you look from the top, you will notice the, th the things listed below. Current warnings, the name of the building, level of the building, the capacity of the house and the number of available workers, risk of disease, illness, crime, fire, disaster, the required resource to raise the level of the house, collected resources and the current access to building. Right, okay, so let's try it. Let's try this one. Right click. Dwellers, 5 of 5. Available workers, 5 of 5. Look for, don't look for work. Upgrade, do not upgrade. Right, risk of fire, they're all green, so I'm guessing there's no risk of fire. Access to well is needed to upgrade. And we've got none of these resources. Right, house level's one. No water. Access to well. So we need a well. I'm guessing it's the same for all of them. Available workers... How come there's five or five in there, but available to work none? What? Four, five. One of five. I'm guessing they're still filtering in. Have we got a... I don't want to do it, but I'm just curious. Have we got like a speed up button? Obviously, I don't want to do it. I don't want to speed it up yet, but I'm just, I'm just curious. Fire protection. I don't understand how it tells me here what's protected. I don't understand what's going on here. Well, there's no... No one here yet or something? I don't know. Right. Note that each house has its own range, which determines the maximum distance to the building in which a dweller can work. In the case of hard-to-reach workplaces such as mines, it is worth considering building a work camp, which is mostly a self-sufficient unit. In order to upgrade the house, the well should be placed in accordance with the requirements we have just observed. Build a well in the close range of the houses. I can do that, bro. No water, well, boom. The house, the house will now be upgraded if it has been, ooh. The house will now be upgraded if it has been completely occupied is by the road and meets all the conditions. Oh, it is. Look, they've just bang. They're just upgraded. Oh, so you don't have to physically upgrade it. It just upgrades itself. Mate, that is mint. Remember that if they... Remember that if there is something missing from the previous level in the next level of the house, the house will be degraded to the previous level after a while. Okay. Each city needs an organised production for its growth, starting from the production of basic resources necessary for the upgrade of the houses. That's true. Build a clay pit in the available space, making sure that it is within range of the houses and there is a road in nearby space. Manufacturing products may involve more than one building within the production chain. You will find information about the building by right clicking on it. Not all resources and wares can be obtained by yourself. You will often have to make a trade with other cities. Okay. So go to clay pit. Where's the range though? Where does it tell me the range of it? So 
Because obviously I can do that, but how do I know if that's in range with other buildings? Unless you have to right click on it. But then how that doesn't that doesn't say if you know. I don't know. Know that each speedrun requires workers to be assigned from their homes. Production buildings have a minimum number of employees below which they don't start working and with a maximum number of employees production reaches 100% efficiency. Keep an eye on the workforce in the settlement by building new houses. Right, so this takes... That's got 8 of 8. Efficiency is 100%. Right, so you can make it a priority. You can stop working or you can shut it down. Natural resources, we're making clay. Sweet. Next. The production of wares may require the construction of more than one building within the production chain. You will find more information about the building by right clicking on it. No warning. Yeah, so it doesn't really say. Oh, okay. Finished wares. Finished wares are collected by the employees of the stockpile and stored there. Build the stockpile in close range to the production building in the same way as before. I can do that. Ministry building, stockpile. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to rotate. I don't know how it would be best to do this. Might have it up there like that. Boom. Oh, I didn't want to click on that. Hang on a minute. Note that the stockpile does not have a predefined range and can pick up orders from the other end of the map therefore you can you can control the stockpile policy by clicking the right mouse button on the building okay so we can choose how much gets stored here basically be what can you make beer oil fish straw pomegranates figs lettuce chickpeas weapons jewelry meat linen Papyrus, sandstone, plainstone, limestone, granite, gold, copper, turquoise, flax, barley, reeds, clay, wood, pottery, bricks, wheat. Jeez, there's a lot. There's a lot to this, isn't there? Jesus. Right, okay. Right, can I right click on? To complete one typical production chain, build a brick maker. The manufactured bricks are one of the most popular tradable wares in the game. Right, okay. Can do that, bro. It's not a problem. Hold it then. Don't want to right click on it. Some production, some production buildings require specific conditions or locations. Wells must be built by the river, quarries by the hills, and woodcutters require forests, which may be depleted if you devastate the entire woodland. Yeah, it makes sense. Remember that buildings within a single production chain must have been connected to the same road network in order to be able to supply each other with products using the stock. Right. So you need, say, if we need the clay for the bricks, they need to be on the same road, or else they won't get there. Roads are used mainly by stockpile and granary workers, so keep roads connected if you want to transport wares in an efficient way. The, in the inhabitants need food to improve their houses, as, the as before, we need to create another production chain. Each subsequent upgrade of the house has its own different requirements. You can check them in the house information card. Where's that? Is that right clicking it? Right, need to upgrade access one type of food. Alright, uh, can house more dwellers. Alright, so they all want food. You can check them in the house information card. Is that that? Is that right clicking on it? Build a fishing wharf to start fishing. Yes, sir. I can do that, bro. Jesus Christ. A big. What's this? The food produced has to be stored in a granary where it will be distributed further. Okay, we can do that. Boom. The food from the granary is distributed through bazaar, bazaars. If the bazaar is supplied with wares, the inhabitants will continue to deliver them to the houses. Never heard of that. What the hell's a bazaar? Oh, I've gone messed up. Which one was it under? Uh, 
I right clicked. The finished wares can be used to build a monument if the mission requires it or can be traded away. To do this you need to set up a trade route. To do so click on the region map icon on the top bar. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't realise. <laughs> Why did I not realise you had a top bar? Current season for Perret. What's this? Economy tab, religious tab, number of inhabitants, available workers, number of bread to be exchanged, number of beer. Right, let's click on this. Holy crap, what is this? Okay. You're on the regional map, you will find your settlement on the map and all other all other than all other than known settlements. You can only make contacts with some of them at the beginning, but this situation may change during the mission depending on the results of your choices. Well, can we not zoom out? Which one's mine then? Is, is that mine? I can't... I can zoom in, but I can't zoom out. Oh, is that mine? Right, okay. Right click on the selected settlement to see what it is trading with and check the other parameters influencing diplomacy. From this place you can set up your first trading route which requires an opening fee depending on many factors such as distance and current political conditions. If you want to return to your settlement click again on the regional map icon. Oh, so this is a little village, want to buy bricks and clay and they're going to buy with bread. Okay, so let's do it then. Op opening the trade route to Abydos. Abydos will cost 200 bread. Okay. The trade route has been opened. From time to time a trader or a ship will come to the city to exchange their wares. At the beginning of each year the amount of purchased wares is reset. If a trader exchanges all his goods during the year he will not arrive again until the next one. Oh, okay. You must first determine whether you want to import, export or do nothing. The default option blocks the possibility to import and export. To change it, click the economy icon. The goods you already produce and you can export to Abydos are bricks. Change your policy on bricks to export. Right, so where we got bricks at? Right, how do I do this? Oh, okay, so you got bricks, export. Excellent. If you want to keep bricks in a specific stockpile, you can set it in its options on the information card. <clears throat> what? Brought, sold, import, export. Oh, okay. Import. Bricks. I've got, it says I've got, it says I've got clay and fish, but it doesn't say I've got bricks. Excellent. If you want to keep the bricks in, in a specific top... Alright, okay. Knowing the basis of the game, you can focus on completing the mission. To recall the conditions of victory, go to the general tab. It's economy. Oh, mission description. So winning conditions. Right, we need... <coughs> right, we need to gather loads of bread. We need to export bricks. We need to gather pottery and gather dwellers. So we need 200 dwellers. We need to gather pottery. There you will also find city statistics, a tab with diplomatic diplomatic messages. If received information about the mission and other tabs that you will get access to later on. So I've got nothing there. There's our finances. Okay. Right, that was that one, wasn't it? These are the most essential rules of, of the Builders of Egypt game. The tutorial will be explained with new elements as the game develops. That's fair enough. Right, close regional map. Let's go back home. What is this? Workers. I've only got two or five workers on that. Oh, so that's it. That's the tutorial done then. Right. <clears throat> so we need some more workers. What's this? Can I not specifically... Oh, you can. What's, what's wrong with you? That's a trader. 
Wants to sell, wants to buy. Why is he running? Hey, you better not have just robbed us, boy. Right, so what's this? Well, we've got clay. Are we not making... Oh, hang on a minute. Are we not br making bricks? Straw, clay... Right, so we need to make straw. Where's the sound gone? Okay, so the sound's glitched out. We've lost sound. I've lost the music anyway. Decorative palm and a plaza. Ooh. Right, so that's that was the tutorial, right. So we need to make bricks. Looking at this, to make bricks, we need straw. Right, but first we need to get some workers in here because it's only that's what's showing up as red. <coughs> Pardon me. So I've only got so we need another house. Um Right, my road's there. So let's go to the house. Um Can I put it here? If I rotate? And then can I just... I'll build a little road down here. So what's that? That's one, two, three, four. One, so I've got there, and then there, one, two, three, four, and then the road. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be five, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. I just want to make sure I can fit another house in here. It's two squares, one, two. I need to come down here, right. So we ain't got no people. Dwellers are coming to your city. Yeah, but they're not anymore. Need more workers. Who's this? Trader. Got more. Got more people coming in. I don't know how to trade with him. I can't remember. Uta, how's it going, buddy? Long time no speak, mate. How's it going, dude? Hope you're doing well, mate. Waiting for wares. Yeah, I'll... Well... Where's he running to? Yo! Right, okay. Our relation with the city. Right, he wants to buy that, and he wants to sell... Well... Right, so I haven't got either at the minute. I haven't got bricks or clay. Why have we not got bricks? Why are we not making bricks? We should be making clay. We can't make bricks because we ain't got straw. So what's being... Wages paid? Nice. Yeah, so we got... Oh yeah, there we go. So we've got 500 clay. We need to make straw. I didn't see it in here though. Oh there, there you go. Straw. Right, so how, do, how the freaking hell do we make straw, bro? Have you got access to... Well, access to a well. well. So we need another well down these parts. To upgrade the house. So what if I was to put a well on the corner? Why can't I not put a well there for? What? Ah, oh, I can see the little line here. So I can put it here. I don't really want it off the road, though. Hang on a minute, let's, let's just leave that for now. Right, so we've got fish coming in. What happened to that? That went up to level 3, why? 
Well, I need that. Ah, oh, because of the. Right, okay. There's no speed up button, so I can't really speed it up. It's okay, got my house sold finally and trying to find a place to live. But I'm good. Oh, oh, congratulations, man, on selling your house, mate. I hope you find somewhere soon, though. That's not really a nice position to be in, is it? Where you have to... Uh, you're sort of in between homes and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's not really... <coughs> it's not really an ideal situation, man. But I hope you do... I hope you do find your place, man. I really do. I need to get a well to upgrade this, but... I need to first... We need to get straw going. I'm guessing for a farm. I don't get this. Ah, so it's telling you here. Yeah, but that's corn, isn't it? I want I need wheat. I need straw, bro. Do you have to look around? Do you have to try and find it or something? Right, I guess. Oh shit. How do I demolish this? Thank you, I messed up. Brickmaker. Potter, clay pit. I don't want a freaking shrine, bro. Uh, yeah, we need straw, man. Do that. And let's try and get a road out to it. Can't make a road there. Can I not? Oh, I was gonna say, can I not rotate? Yes, we can. So I can't come out here, I'm guessing it's too close to the to the thing. Um, so I don't know if we need more houses or what. But I might make another row of houses. We've got 45 days. Oh, mate. That's not really a long time to find a house, really, is it? Jesus. It doesn't give you too much time, does it? It's a bit harsh. Right, I'm going to try and build some more houses here. There's one, two. Three. Four. Hang on a minute, I've messed up. Hang on. Before anyone moves in. I need to. I needed to make a. Yeah, I need to, to make a little gap. Don't know why, but they've got gaps between them for some reason. So that's what I'm doing. And then we need to come. One, two, three, four. Let's get some roads going. Let's go all the way to there. Into there. Beautiful. We should have some dw more dwellers coming in. Here they come. Right, and then we can put a well. See, we can put one right there. That'll cover them all. One there. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, good, yeah, good. Oh, well, we got a store in here, man. We've got loads of clay. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Ooh, we got some wheat, boys. No, that's not even wheat. Oh, yeah, it is. Why does it look like corn, though? It's a picture of corn, but it's wheat. A 
apparently. We've got the Fisher Dock sitting pretty. Mate, we are golden. Wages wages were paid minus 100, 180. What? Hey, hang on a minute. What? I need straw. That is wheat. How do we make wheat? Granary, maybe? I'll tell you what I can do, actually. Hang on a sec. Let's do another road. Up here. And then I'm going to put... I'm sure it's the granary, isn't it? It's got to be. Uh, no. No. It's got to be that. Why can't I not put it here? Not enough workers. I oh, know. How I'm trying to make straw, bro. This is the plan. How do we make straw? I can make wheat, but it's not telling me anywhere that I can sort of. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, you can get wheat and straw from it. Ah, see, see. Mate, these take ten each one. Holy shit. Maybe I I, I thought I, I didn't know this. Yeah, they should filter in. Obviously, you build houses and people just come. So, we just got to wait a bit. I wish they had a little speed up time, but... They don't. This is a little mission description. We need to get 200 dwellers. We need to gather pottery. Export brick. Right, so we need to make pottery as well. That's that's one thing we need to do. Uh, I did see that as well. A potter. I'm guessing that's out of clay as well. So can we build this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we can put that here. Bang that down then. Tells you what you need. Look, two clay makes two pottery. Obviously here we need straw and clay to make brick. And then here, this is just a granary. I'm not sure. Looks like this holds food. But what does this do then? Oh, maybe, because that holds beer and pottery and stuff. Maybe that's, like, for the people. I'm just about in it, I think. Upgrade. Access to one type of food. Oh, milestone. Settlement. What have we done? What? Is it because... Wait, what? Oh, is it because we went over 100 people? I don't know. Are, are, are we doing good so far? I don't. I don't know. That's what I mean. This is the trader, and he wants brick and clay. I don't know how to put. Coming back to home. Waiting for where's. What, you ask, are you actually after 700 clay? You will not take it unless we've got 700. We've got 900, though. Is it because I haven't got clay on the diplomacy thing? Is it this? Yeah, look. Export. Export the clay as well. Give them the clay, son. Give him the clay, son. He wants it. Can you set... Actually, just out of interest, can you set... I don't want to give him a thousand clay. I only want to give him what he needs. Unless he would just take what he needs. Jeez, I don't know. Wait, 
let me, yeah, let me off it. Right, so these houses are what? Level 3. Access to temple. Jeez, alright. Um, right, everyone seems to have a job. We seem to have enough people working. I don't know about here. Yeah, we need another 10 more people for here. But I think that might be enough. Or maybe I've just got that as a little go-to thing. Obviously, this will be food as well, no? Should we not have fish? It's not going here, is it? Oh, wheat's going there. Okay, I don't know if I needed that, but... I don't know, we, we built it, so... Right, should I have people working here? So, do you have to wait until this bar goes to 100% for it to make one pottery? And then is it stored here? Yeah, there's pottery, bricks, wheat... Right, okay. So maybe we have to wait until that hits 100%. I'm just going to keep an eye on it just for a bit. Because I just want to see when that hits 100%, do we get pottery? Is that what that means? Hopefully that's what it means anyway. I don't know, I hit 100, I didn't see what happened. No. Well, well, we didn't get no pottery from that anyway. Oh, we got one. Wait, what? Man, that takes ages, son. A, re a request from a neighbouring city. A messenger from the neighbouring city has arrived. The no march of the city asks you to help him deliver the following goods to the settlement. A thousand clay. The Nile Valley, due to its fertile fields, was covered by a network of towns. Okay. Well, I would like to do that. I haven't got the clay at the minute, though. But I don't know how... I mean, I would like to. Is it that one? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. I mean, I'm, I'm pressing yes, like... I want to... I want to... I wanted to do it. Have we got... Hang on a minute. Have we got straw now? Oh, we've got 100 pottery. Woo! Have we got straw, though? Can we... Oh, we got 400. Yes! So can we make brick? We haven't made any yet, but I think we're making brick then. Come on. This game's easy. I didn't mean to say that. Access to one type of food. Are they out of range? I think he might be. Unless he's just taking ages. Educational building, military building, defense structures. Gee, so there's quite a lot to this game. Food production, farm. It's just that area, really, isn't it? What else? 
a well. Brickmaker, potter, clay pit. We've got all that. Oh, a shrine. Ooh. Well, that needs to go in the middle of the... That means it's going in the middle, really. Hang on a sec. What's wrong with you? Why is there no available workers? Is What? Ten of ten. Oh, but I need, do I need more work areas? Is everything filled up? Have I built too many houses? Well, can I make then another brassiere thing? Yeah, can I make another one of these sort of down here? Mm hmm. Get to them one time. Yeah, you know the score. Woo! Get them! Let's do another one of them there then. Hopefully, you should get people working there. Five of five. Beautiful. Right, so we're so they we just got one person who needs a job. Two people who need a job. Three people who need a job. Um, I mean, we've got this farm up here. Don't know why you can't jump on that. Oh, I know why. Because we can't get a road there. Ah, right. That might be why. We can't get a road that side, though. What about if we pull a road here? See, I know that's going to take up a bit of our farming area, but... There we go. Come on now, we're rocking now. Access to one type of food there. So you should be getting food. Maybe we're not bringing in enough food, maybe. I don't know, we should be with the, with the wheat, no? Right, what's most my man want? What's up? Yeah, got some brick there, buy him. Economy tab, buy the bricks, son. I'm exporting them. Maybe I'll just leave that off now. Oh, hello, cheeky. I think we've sold. Where's our little mission objective? Yeah, see, we don't need to sell clay, really. We just need to sell pottery and bricks. So let's not sell the clay, shall we? Let's sell... Let's click back on you. Actually, no, we don't even need to. We can go here. Let's not sell the clay. Let's sell pottery. Bricks and pottery. Yeah, let's export them. Because that's the mission. Number of inhabitants, 130. So we need to gather 12,500 thread. Wow. Yeah, pottery and bricks. Oh no, that's just gather. That's not even sell. Right, okay, let's take that off then. Yeah, we don't even need to sell pottery. Just keep it. We just need to gather it. We need to sell bricks. That's it. Oh, we've got plenty of straw coming in now. So we should be able to be making bricks. I think that's basically it, really, isn't it? Available workers, two. Well, this is two people out of work. Oh, we need to get two. Well, we need to get 200 inhabitants, don't we, really? Maybe we just keep building. I'm thinking if we keep building. I mean, I don't, I don't know. 
I mean, they said about one in a shrine, didn't they? So, to the next upgrade, access to a temple. I think we can do that. Yeah, shrine. Can I get off that house? Thank you. So we need to make this shrine somewhere. Let's make it here. That covers all the buildings, doesn't it? Yeah, man. Have a look at it. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, he's upgraded straight away. Access to a temple, yeah, you just have some. He's all just level threes at the minute. See, these are still twos. What? Why? Don't come to my city, son. I ain't got no houses for you. What's this? I don't know what this is. Pottery. Do you want pottery? Access to well. You've got an access to a well, son. It's right there. Access to temple. Isn't that the shrine? You got access to that. Play games with me. Oh, it's within reach. Go there if you want it. Uh, that looks like pottery to me. Granary. What about it? I don't understand. I mean, there's no like reach on it, so I don't get what your problem is. As well as nine of nine available workers, none. Look for, don't look for work, upgrade, do not upgrade. I mean, I don't know what you, what do you, what? No food. No dwellers, no dwellers. No food. No food. Max, oh, that's the max level in prologue, level three. So I just built that temple for nothing. Right, no dwellers. So, have I got a problem with dwellers? Oh, is that just what it was? They were moaning because they had no food. They just had to go and get some. And get some from here, mate. Maybe, do we need to make more food? I don't, I don't know. Maybe we make more food? I mean, I've got plenty of food going around here, son. Make another fishing place, maybe? I can't. Make more farms, though, huh? Make my loads of farms. Let's do it. I'll have to do it like this though, innit? I'm just gonna make loads of farms. Let's go! One there, one there, one there, one there. Let's get some roads. Roads are important. And then I think I can set down one lot, one more lot. There and there. I need to have the roads going up to them, which is a bit silly. Right, there you go. All the farms are done. I'm guessing we need more people. <laughs> Can we keep expanding? Hmm. 
What's the area of that well? What's the area of that well? It says about keeping a fire station close as well. So maybe we build another fire station down here somewhere. So that's a shrine. Bazaar, granary, stockpile, fire station. Mate, the fire station covers a lot, to be honest. All them houses are covered. The risk of fire, why is that red? No food, no dwellers. We should get some more dwellers coming in. We just have to wait and be patient, son. So yeah, so I'm, I'm not. We're not really getting the dwellers in. We're just sort of waiting. We are low on bread. My gold. Oh, we've got no one working these farms as of yet. I don't know what these are. Plaza, decorative palm. I think they're just decoration items, I think. Are you, are you upgraded now? It's just you that's not level 3. I think. You're 3, 3. So, so in terms of a house level, oh, you're not. Oh, you are now. Yeah, so in terms of level leveling up, the houses can only go to level three at the moment. So other than that, we, there's not really a lot we can do with that with houses because they're all level three. I think it was just one down here that wasn't. Yeah, it's just that one. Just check all these quickly. Three, 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 two. Yeah, so it's just that one house. We've got fish coming in. What's wrong with you now? No food. Well, I mean, like... They're farming up, do you know what I mean? And they're catching fish, so I don't really know what more you want from me. I can't make... I can't make any more food, because I can't make another fishery. It'd be good if you could move them over. Like, click and move them once you've placed them, instead of demolishing them. I wouldn't have been able to fit another one there anyway. I mean, I can't get another one down the river anywhere. I can't put another one anywhere. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? No warnings. Good. Shouldn't be. Yeah, so it's just basically a waiting game, really. I mean, there's no records, no technology tree at the moment. That's fine. Obviously, it is early access. This is just ba this is just basically sort of like a demo. I mean, anyone can install it, so you can go and install it and play it for free. This is basically sort of like a pre-game before the actual Builders of Egypt actually comes out. So, it's just getting a bit of a feel for the game before the actual game comes out. Obviously, as you can tell, it's very, like, Banish-esque. It's a lot like Banished. I mean, these people are after food, but... I mean, I don't know... I can't make any more food. I can't really get more people. Well, I could get more people to work these farms. The people are leaving. I had 140, now I've got 138. Why are people leaving for, bro? Right, so any one of these... It's a cush. I was going to say, I can... Oh, mate. Oh, look at that. Elephantes. What the hell was that? It's like a cloud, bro. I can't... The only ones I can visit is them. Oh, that's our city. Buto. I mean, 
need to get some bricks out because they pay for bricks. Can't visit anywhere else at the minute, so that's our city up there. Okay, okay. So we need to pump these bricks out, man. That's pottery. Pottery, clay, got loads of straw. Why have we not got no bricks? More straw, more clay. People are either dying or leaving. What the hell was that? Are these all going? Why are these all going back down to level two for? I did hear something about the deconstruct. Access to one type of food. You should have access to food. Have we got too many people now? What is all that? Is that all wheat? That's all straw. Is anyone working at the clay pit? Can we can we hurry up with the clay? We need more pe maybe we need more people to work these farms to get more food. This is what I'm thinking. I might do it. Sod it. Get some more people in. We need food. that and that. I'd love to connect this, that would be cool wouldn't it? Do that for now. <laughs> uh, leave a gap. House. Gap house. Road. Road. Get some more settlers in here, boys. Come on, nah. I don't understand why we're struggling for food. I mean, I think we need more... This is just what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need more food. Well, I know we need more food, but I'm thinking we need more settlers to work these farms for more food. I can't make another fishing plot, which is a bit weird. I think we're going to need a new stockpile soon as well. So you build more houses, more settlers will come. But then we obviously we need to sustain them with work. Which we should have plenty of work because each one of these farm fields takes 10. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's like 90 people. Alright, so you've downgraded because you need food. And now you're upgrading again because you've got food. You just need to wait. Be patient. Once we get these people in. See, they're already levelling up straight away, bro. Look. Boom. Access to well. Easy. Completed. So I'm not really, though. They're, really, they're not really in range for well. Them two may be just about, but... You have to food again. Great. I might have to put another whale down. 
Maybe this side. If we can. Then they should have access to it. Got a decent area coverage. Right, you should be storing food, but you're not. Fish. I'd like to have that there to have the coverage for these houses, but it doesn't seem to be working. That should cover that one. But we're constantly out of food. This is why we constantly look. Yes, this is why we need more workers. I mean, I want the wheat, to be honest with you. So are the braziers, are they like the shops? Are they not supposed to be... Why zero carriers? I don't really get the carrier thing. What are you after, bro? Do you want them bricks, mate? You're going to have to wait. Bricks are taking time, son. I don't know. Maybe we might need another clay pit. Because, I mean, we've got this clay pit trying to produce pottery and bricks. And when, look, we're never having enough clay. So maybe we need another clay pit. I mean, I can have it. I've got more clay here. I'm quite happy putting them next to each other, though. So that was clay. What about food then? So now we've got that area. Is there any other way we can make food? It's quite a scarce area for food, isn't it? I know I couldn't do um, fish. I can't even put it next to him. Literally can't do no more fish. Can't do no more fish, can't do no more farms now. So food's out of the question. I'm pretty much stuck on food. That's eight of eight. That's zero of eight. So do we need even more people? Mate, believe me, I will get more people. I'll kick the hell out of people. I'll do rows of four, bro. I don't care. Access to wells. Right there, son. It's right there. Just got to get it. Just got to grab it. I mean, I can't, I can't get it for you. Let's come out here. Some more houses. Just leave a gap. Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's leave a gap. Yeah, there you go, houses. Settlers just need to come in now. Just connect that up. There you go. Hopefully that well. Ah, we need another well. Over here somewhere. Yeah, let's go there. Then we're going to need a brassiere as well, because that's not going to reach over there. That's only, well, it's reaching there. And we're going to need another fire station as well. I think. How far this one reaches. Oh, it's not bad. We could do one down here, though. 
less fires and stuff. Do a little one right here. We're running out of bread pretty quickly. <laughs> and no good, mate. We need a brazier. Which one is it? What is it? Plus 60. Let's rotate it. Right, 84 bread. <laughs> My gold. We gonna die. Damn. 84 bread, bro. <laughs> I mean, do we... Plaza? What the hell is that? I don't know what that is, I ain't messing about with that. That's 8 of 8 and 8 of 8. Yeah, we need to make clay, man. Clay and food. Because we've got all this wheat stored up. We've got loads of wheat. Uh, sorry, loads of straw. Obviously, the clay is only really used for that. But yeah, we need straw and clay for that so obviously we need twice as much clay for the straw because we're, we're stocking up on the straw and we're not producing enough clay so i think we needed two clay pits uh see we got 100 fish in there what are you doing going for where going for where where are you going for where as in like going to get food Right, what's going on? Why is it become all janky? Right, we're still a little bit short. Still a little bit short on stuff. Not enough workers. But he should have. Got loads of houses now, bro, bro. Don't make me make some more. I will straight up get more people. There we go. What are you lying for? Wages were paid. 525. Five. What are we paying wages for? Mate, we're in a minus. But that's okay. We should climb out of it. Mate, this is tough. Hey, we've hit 202 people. That was one of our things, weren't it? We nearly gathered enough pottery. Nearly exported enough bricks. We just need to get this bread up. Put tax up. Wages of employees. No, it's not that down to say what one, two. You ain't getting all that money, bro. Like, I can't afford that. You're having a bubble bath. Can't go lower than that. I'll keep that at that for now. I don't want everyone to leave my town. But wages is coming down a little bit, bros, because we need it's for the good of the town, okay? So watch your mouths. What are you buying, bro? 
Wood, clay. These bricks, man. We need to make way more bricks. They want bricks. Oh, they do sell a bit in wood, but... So we could probably sell pottery as well. Oh, no, they're selling. They're not buying pottery. They're buying br like bricks and wood. Loads of straw. Got no bricks. I know we keep selling them. Do we make? Do we have to make another brick factory? I can't at the minute. I'm out of food. But well, not out of food. Uh, out of bread. Our currency. Obviously, our stockpile is about full. I'm gonna have to make another stockpile, but I can't because I haven't got the bloody. Yeah, well, I can't, I can't up it. I need to stop making straw, mate. <laughs> stop with the straw. Don't need it. What's up, bro? You want to buy clay? I can't really sell clay because we need clay for the bricks. So I'm not selling you clay, bro. I'm just not doing it. We've got pottery, we've got straw, we ain't got clay. We're out of clay, we're out of bricks. Why is why is it not being made? Can't even make it like a priority. Seems like everything's just stopped. We're not making bricks anymore. We're not producing clay. Oh, it's at hundred percent. It's just stopped. I don't understand. Is that it? Building is full. What do you mean? I don't understand. What do you mean the building is full? Can we not? Why is no one emptying it? What's going on? Oh, we have got to speed up. Play. Was it on pause? No resources. No resources. We need clay. Building is full. Is full. What is happening here? Mate, 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 what the f what the hell? Mate, what's happened here? We're flooded. No, bro. No, I'm not having that. No, I'm not having that. That flood my fields. I don't understand with the clay. Look, why is it saying building is full? Why? What, what do you mean building is full? Like, I do not understand. Empty it then. We are just draining money. I do not understand what's going on. It says building is full, but is it a, is it glitched out on me? 
I don't know if it's glitched out or not. Hey, um, how's it going, dude? Nice to see you, mate. Show buildings icon. No, don't do that. Main menu. No, don't do that. Zoom. Health cover. Press water cover. Oh, mate, I didn't even see this. Oh, that's cool. So I'm stuck, basically, because it's saying that these buildings are full, but I can't empty them. It's not allowing me to empty them. Which is weird. I don't get it. Stop paying wages. Can, can I stop paying people, please? I've not got the money to pay people. They need to work for free. Right, taxes are going way up, son. How high can we put taxes up? Oh, mate, we can go 100% taxes. 100% taxes. Not having it. Do you need not enough workers? Where's everyone going? Is everyone leaving? Because I've put taxes up to 100%. <laughs> Mate, we need them. We're, we're dying here. We need the money. I don't understand why these buildings are full. I can't empty them. It doesn't make sense. They're just, they're stuck. That's not good because it's like it's glitched out. I can't. I can't do the game anymore. Cause I'm not. I'm not getting potter. I'm not getting clay, which means I can't make my bricks. No resources. Can't get. Look, got the straw. Can't get the clay. It says building. Buildings. Building is full. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? Building is full, so how do I empty it? They're still working on... Empty the freaking buildings, man! Come on now! And then this just floods. Why is this flooding? Well, my man's gonna drown, son. Get out of there. I need a loan. Huh. Oh, I've got 10 of 10 workers. I've got workers there, but they're just not emptying the building. So, yeah, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm sort of stuck. Potter can't work. No resources. Is it because I can't put it in here? on a minute, don't take, take all. Well, I need that. Don't take. if it was just glitched out I'm trying to like stop working start working stop start I don't know I don't know there's not really a lot I can do we sort of glitched out I guess 
they're not empty in the clay pits, which means I can't make the bricks, which means I can't sort of continue. But maybe that's it. Maybe that's the game. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I know it's really early access. And this is sort of the game before the proper game. So these are like the prologues. So obviously you have like little missions that you can do. Obviously we've done the dwellers. Uh, if we carried on, we'd, we'd do the pottery. We could do all that, to be honest. But I'm just, it's glitched out. So I don't really know. There's not really a lot else I can do. So I didn't realise the farms are going to cost that much as well, to be honest. But hey, this is our first look at this new game, man. Um, it looks good. Obviously, there, yeah, there are a few issues which are to be expected. Uh, obviously, we've, we've got this stuff glitching out. And stuff. Yeah, see, it says I've got no workers there now. Even though I can see someone working away there. Look, little fella. Just gathering that clay, bro. Just, just, just keep on, keep on, keeping on. It says I've got clay in there, but it says buildings are full, so I don't really understand it. Uh, I know our stockpile is about full, um, but I don't think that's anything to do with it. Although I guess it could be. If we let's try something. So I'm just trying to think maybe if I clear some of this space, is that why can they not put any more in the stockpile maybe? It is possible to send goods. Frickin' send them then! Do it, do it! I've got that sell up to a thousand, so that should leave me 300. And then sell half of it. See, oh, I've got carriers here, three of ten. I don't seem to have. Oh, what, what do you want, mate? What are you after? See, I know what you're after. I know it. Building is full. Maybe that. Maybe it is the stockpile. Shall we try and see if we can build another stockpile and see if that could be that? I don't know. Which one is it? Oh, I can't. Ha! <laughs> Not enough bread. Um. Okay. Right, let's try... Straw. Let's try exporting them. See if we can try and bring this stockpile down a little bit. It might maybe make way for the for the clay. Sorry, had to step away. Planning on recording all day. Down to join. Mate, I'm a bit busy after this um, live stream, mate. Obviously, I've got to finish the live stream soon. Uh, yeah, I've got obviously I've got my kids' parents' evening. So I've got to go to that. And then, yeah, I'll probably be busy most of the day, mate. Um, but... I'll try and message you if I can. It depends. I mean, what are you playing? What are you playing? And I'll see if I can try and get on. Even if it's just for a little bit, I'll try and see. But yeah, like at my time at the minute, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. And I've got my kids' parents' evening at two. So I've got to be off in a bit to go and get ready for that. And then obviously we'll be picking the kids up. I've got stuff to do once we've got the kids and stuff. So... But yeah, I guess depending on what you're... Like I said, depending on what you're playing, I might be able to hop on for a bit, mate. 
Delivering resources, straw. I oh, know, but I want to sell. I'm trying to sell it. Let me just put all this up. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to put this back up. Because it seems like everything's just stopped. I mean, he's not putting any more wheat in there because it's full. I'm guessing that's why these are full. But I can't sell it. I'm trying to sell it. But the problem I have is... <laughs> no one wants it. The only things I've been selling is clay and bricks. No one wants my straw. And that maybe we've come to the end of it. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I've messed up. Maybe I should have made another stockpile instead of building so much. Because we're just not bringing in any money anymore. I can't trade with anyone else. They're all locked at the minute. See, they just want bricks and clay. They don't want anything else, and I can't, so I can't sell anything else. I can't even just click on it and just sell it. Let's just click on here, just sell. Just sell it. I don't even care who to, just sell it. Down for anything, need some fresh content, my man. Yeah, dude, just send me a quick DM. Yeah, I will do, mate. If I do get time, I will I will send you a DM whether if I get time or not. I will let you know either way. I won't leave you hanging, bro. Yeah, look, I think this is it. It's the, it's the stockpile, because look, he's got more wheat to put in. Look, delivering resources, wheat. But he can't. That's why he stops. I want to sell you something else, bro. Yeah, so we've filled it up with too much wheat, and now we can't sell it. So we've basically, uh, yeah, we've basically come to the end of it. We've basically messed up that gameplay. <laughs> we lost. Um, but yeah, I suppose that's going to do it for this live stream, guys, because we've sort of we've come to a crossroads now where we literally can't do anything else. Oh wait, what? I already had a granary. I suppose the only other thing I can try. Is demolish the place. But now we can't put anything anywhere. Uh, I should have maybe thought about that before I did that. Mate, can I can I not take a loan? Just a quickie, just a quick loan, man. Yeah, so that's it. That's done. Because we're just going to keep bleeding money. We can't get our resources. We've just I just cancelled the stockpile, which was a stupid idea. Can't get another one. Yeah, so I think we're stuck. That's it. We're done. I'm done. <laughs> right, guys. If you guys enjoyed that live stream, don't forget to leave a like, man. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribers do help the channel out massively. So if you could show your support by liking and subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm trying to hit this 200 sub goal. So hopefully we can hit it. All right, man, I'm going to get started. Catch you later, dude. Yeah, catch you later, amp, mate. Uh, yeah, like I said, I will DM you. I'll let you know if I can get on or not. We'll definitely do that. But yeah, I hope your um, recordings go well, mate. And um, yeah, uh, I guess if you want me, if you want me to try again, then um, I'm more than happy to because I, I did quite enjoy that. I think we just messed up a bit with the stockpile. I think maybe we should have made a second stockpile. Obviously, I made a second granary. I didn't realise I had one here. For some reason, I made another one. I didn't need to because this holds quite a lot. We didn't need it. So yeah, so like I said, that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Like I said, leave it in the comments down below or hit it, smash that like button and that if you want me to do it, do another one. I can play again. Try and see if we can get this mission completed. Uh, try and learn from our mistakes. Like I said, I think the the dwellers, see we can get there quite easy. The bricks was getting quite easy until we messed up with the clay. So yeah, I just need another stockpile I think. And I think we would have been golden. I shouldn't have made that other granary. Um, I think, yeah, maybe having the two clay pits was a good idea as well. Because we need that clay bloody moving along faster than the wheat. Maybe I should have maybe held off on the farm in that side of it as well. Maybe not done so many. Maybe done one at a time and see how we went. So, or maybe took it a bit slower. So, yeah, so that that's going to do it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay safe. Have a good one. Thank you very much for stopping by. Whoever stopped by to the live stream, man, I really appreciate it. Smash that like button, subscribe, all that jazz. And um, yeah, until the next time, guys, have a good one. Peace out.